Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. In our last tutorial, we saw how to create a login form. In this tutorial, I am going to teach how to make a validation of login form. Okay, okay, let me go to the chapters. Now, what I am going to do is here, before go to the validation part, I am going to uh, make this form more attractively okay so let's drag here so here we make it as the uh, page border we make it as default come as single we make it as none after that go to the toolbox and all windows forms here you have to choose as panel okay you have to add the panel at the above like this have to like add the panel like this have to make it like this perfect now what i'm going to do is another important stuff is to align like like this here okay you just arrange the panel your uh, the width your frame size you get the width as your frame size like this now we will change the color as the panel as go to the uh, property window we'll change the color as whip dark window okay we'll change the color as dark window after that what i'm going to do is here i am going to create another panel so go to the toolbox and choose panel and drag on your form again here this is the bottom panel okay so we let's make the size like this here also same thing i'm going to do web and dark red okay the same thing i'm going to do the same thing here so okay now it's uh, perfect now we let's arrange like this now Another important stuff is I need one picture box here so it more attractively. So what I'm going to do is here go to the toolbox and picture box and drag on your form and import the pictures. Simple pictures you must import it here. Here I already uh, download some picture. Here this one the appropriate one for the login form so click on this picture and click ok okay now it is not said fit on the screen of the picture box just click on this error and size mode it's uh, normally it select as default uh, default it select as normally you select as trench image now it's fixed uh, on the uh, pitch image like this okay okay now perfect now i now i am going to uh, write the heading of this login form so so again i need one picture box and put here uh, top left corner let them look like this here i'm going to add the icon so choose image import this time i'm going to add this icon not this if if this icon going to add. click ok now again go over here and set as stretch image ok now it's perfectly fit on the screen like this now i i'm going to add the login uh, name here so go back to my tool box and label drag on your form here like this here i'm going to add the label name as Login. that's the name I'm going to add then I'm going to increase the size of the font so go to the front property and with bold and make the size as at least 20 it's much bigger like this okay now if you if you want you can change the font also there are a lot of fonts available you just click on this font property there are various font available 
you have to select as simply select as time news form and uh, bold select the size as 24 click ok right it's perfect now let's change the uh, color as font color as here for color it's white okay perfect okay we just put like this here we have to drag like this now let's run the form and see much like this okay then now let's run the form and see so just click start here here you click on the form if it is not come at the center click on the form and go to the property window and make that make it as uh, starting position default come as default location here you have to make it as center location so when you click start here it will be coming like this okay now you can enter the your username uh, is uh, kumar One, two, three. Click login here. Successfully log into my main form. Okay, this is how we have created the user interface. Now let's back to our validation part. So double click the login button here. So go to my method, private method here. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write one thing is uh, if if. this one this text box both are blank that uh, blank uh, should not be allowed we have to display the message so this called name as txt name this uh, text box name as txt pass so let's go back to our coding part txt name dot text equal blank if this text box and you have to use and operator also and txt password text box dot text okay this both text boxes should be uh, blank what happen is here at the next line we have to write if the both text box should be blank we write message box you can write message box here you can uh, write two ways in uh, .net uh, .net here you can write like this otherwise same thing you can write uh, in c -sharp. Okay, message box like this here the same thing you can write okay the easiest way is this if you write like this you no need to put show if you write like message box dot show you have to write additional show property also okay here message box here we have to easily you have to pass the message uh, user name and password not be black okay you have to write the things okay now here end if you just cut this cut the end if and put it the end here okay so after that what I'm going to do is if the condition is if the condition is if the username and password both are blank this message should be displayed okay if the username and password not blank the below part will be work okay so we have to put another ad additional one is else okay if this condition is true work the if block if the condition is not true work, go to the else block and check the condition okay if the condition if the username and password not blank if it is not blank go and check the go to the help else part and check okay else part i wrote already i explained this coding in my previous tutorial i no need to explain in this uh, coding part in this tutorial okay I hope you understood this uh, parts okay what I, what I what does okay username and password okay um, okay okay let's execute the program in C okay 
here. First, we have to write the uh, leave it as blank username and password. Click login here. Username and password not be blank. Okay. If you type uh, without, uh, if you if you type uh, without uh, entering anything else, click login. Here, this message will be displayed. Okay. Now, if you write username and password wrong, click OK. Sorry login here invalid user this message will be displayed if the username and password not correct the below this message invalid user will be displayed if you write the username and password correct it successfully login and goes to the main form okay that simple stuff i did okay in my next tutorial i am going to uh, explain the uh, main form part okay i hope you guys you are enjoyed my tutorials if you have any doubts you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me